This is Carl at National RV Detroit and I'm going to walk you through this 2022 Zinger travel trailer and the model number is 341RK. So it's still a little dirty and it's snowy but we're, we're getting it cleaned up for you. What this is, uh, this video is just going to be a how-to video basically. I'm going to show you some of the features and how they work, okay? So starting here at the door side rear you can see we have uh, st uh, power stabilizers and that's all the way around the trailer. So. The rear will have this one switch uh, controls both rear stabilizers. Then there'll be another switch up front that controls both front. Um, when you pull your cooktop out here, you can see it's just a gas cooktop, two burners. You have this core, this core, this this um, LP line right here, and you see it's got a, a male quick connect fitting on it. That plugs in right here into this female quick connect here. So. To get gas to it, obviously you have to uh, you have to plug it in. Um, this is just a little dorm refrigerator for outside stuff. This door uh, it's locked, but this door goes into the uh, kitchen area. Okay, um, we have an awning right here, power awning with LED strip. Okay, slide out here. You have another awning. With an LED strip back here, okay. These these stairs fold right inside the trailer. Um, you can adjust the length of the legs by pulling these pins out. There's one on each side, and you can adjust it accordingly. Um, you have outside speakers. This is just power and TV signal here, so you can put a TV outside. There's your front stabilizer switch, okay. And let's see what we got here. You have two uh, cranks. This crank here, you see it's a, I don't know if you can see it very well, it's a cylinder with a slot cut through it. You see the slot right there, hopefully. Well, for example, you can, you can crank the stabilizer jacks manually if they happen to fail for any reason. You come over to the off-door side and you see there's a, a cylinder with a pin through it, or excuse me, a shaft with a pin through it that cylinder with the slot cut in it will fit right over there so you can actually crack them, crank them manually if you need to. Also, let's see if we can find one to show you. Underneath the trailer you're going to see on the frame, of course I can't see one from here, yeah you can't see very well from here but there's a a shaft with a pin through it. You can actually crank the slide rooms uh, manually if you have to also. Okay. The smaller crank is for your power tongue jack in case it fails. You can always um, this is dirty here or snowy I mean. You can always pull this plug off the top here, put that crank in there and you can crank your, your tongue jack manually if you need to in an emergency. All right. Uh, this hookup right here is just in case you have a um, uh, a solar panel that you want, it, like a portable solar panel battery charger. You could plug that in there to charge your battery. Of course, you got two LP tanks which are full. You have a Deep Cycle Marine battery, brand new, and there's the kill switch for the battery. You can actually shut it off. Okay, and this is the other side of the pass-through storage. You also get a um, a dump hose with it and you get reducers for your shore cord to reduce it down, okay? Okay, so right here you have, uh, like I said, we're still dirty here, but we're, we're just doing this now because the weather is allowing us to do it, so um, you have your black tank valve here, which is toilet water and waste, and then your, shower, or your gray, which is sink and shower water. Um, you can, if you dump your black, and leave the valve open like that. You can hook the hose of the dump station right onto here and turn it on. It'll spray the inside of the tank out. It's a black tank flush. It just cleans off the sensors, that sort of thing. Um, but like it says on this sticker here, always make sure that the the uh, the valve is open before you turn on the water. There's another hole to look through, and you can see. Maybe you can see it better on this side. Let's see. No. <laughs> oh yeah, you can. See it right there. There's a shaft with a pin through it. You can crank each one. It, the, sh the one on this side of cra uh, will um, crank the opposing slide out. So this would, this crank here or this shaft here will 
crank the, the door side slide out and the one on the other side will crank this one here. Okay. So this uh, white gate valve here is to dump the uh, fresh water tank if you don't want to carry the water with you. Okay. Your um, water heater right here, which is empty because it's winterized. You can see the there's the cap there and there's the the drain. So this this works on both gas and electric. The switches to operate are inside the uh, trailer. I'll show you those when we get in there. Um, this is winterized right now, so the the, the valves, the the bypass valves are are uh, are in uh, winterized mode and. Uh, the water heater is drained, so it's empty and there's no, no water to freeze in there, so um, that's winterized. This is just a, a shower slash sprayer right here for the outside. Um, this is your city water hookup, the most common way to get water to the trailer. Just hook the hose on there and you're all set. Now if you're camping someplace that doesn't have city water hookup, you can pre-fill your fresh water tank right here and then use the onboard pump to pump the water. I'll show you the switch for that when we get inside. But you can, if you don't have city water, you can, you can carry the water with you. All right, this is your, uh, that's just a vent. This is a gray tank flush here, or not flush, but dump valve here. Okay, that's probably for your sink, I would think. Kitchen sink. You have, it's a 50 amp system, so you got a 50 amp power cord, and then you get the reducers to reduce it down. So that comes with it. Um, cable and satellite through right here. Um, that, that housing there tells us this is pre-wired for a backup camera, so you can add that on if you choose. While we're looking up, keep in mind it's the manufacturer states you should inspect your roof every 60 days. So you go up there and or have somebody go up there, look around at all the sealant, make sure there's no cracking or separation. No way, no way for water to get in. Make sure that none of the roof attachments or roofing material was damaged by low branches or road debris flying up there or anything like that. So it's a good thing to do is to keep inspecting it. That way you can stay ahead of any issue you might, you might have. It's just a good way of protecting your investment. Okay, so let's go inside. Where I believe the heat is running. Okay, alrighty. Okay. Oh, uh, so let's get some light in here. Okay. All right, so right when we come in here, you have your thermostat, which is, it's an analog thermostat. It's pretty basic. You have, the fan is over here. Always use the fan, keep it on auto. Um, heat, we're on heat right now. One click to the left is off. The next click to the left is fan. The fan is just the air conditioner running without the compressor. And then, of course, cool is full air conditioning. Um, here, you have your, two slide rooms here right then you have your two awnings here never leave the awnings out unattended always roll them in if you're not going to be at the campsite uh, your water pump is right here remember I told you you uh, can pump water from the fresh water tank um, you could also use this pump to winterize the trailer so the water heater to light it on gas is right there to turn the electric electric uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for the ele the the <laughs> I'm not, I'm fishing for it, but it's not coming. The electrode, the, uh, the uh, element, there you go, the electric element, uh, you can turn that on right here. Now remember, you never want to run the, el the electric element or the gas w with the water heater tank empty. You always want to make sure you fill it up before you, you do that, otherwise you could damage it. Okay, and here's your control, your water levels. Um, battery, fresh water is empty, black water is empty. Gray 1 and gray 2 are empty. Auxiliary is not used. All right. Okay. So, let's see what we have here. So we have a, a, a jackknife sofa here. Uh, you have two theater seats here. Of course, your dinette. Um, you have a fireplace, which has a really good... Uh, fan on it so it's actually a space heater also this is the remote that comes with it you can turn it on and off you can adjust the, the flame and the crystals like so um, you, there's also a timer you can set the time on it so there's a lot you can do with it you have this sound bar right here this is the remote for it right here hope you can see that okay but it, it does a lot it has um, 
uh, you can stream off USB stick, you have um, uh, radio, you have um, uh, Bluetooth so you can stream wirelessly from your phone to your tablet. You have two speaker zones, A and B. A is inside the trailer, B is outside the trailer, so it does plenty. The TV will go right here. Okay. So in the kitchen, this is the door that I it was locked, is right here. Um, in the kitchen, most of this is self-explanatory, but you have your your um, microwave right here. You have your your um, vent for your range hood or your your range hood itself I guess you have a light there plus a fan okay um, your range top always keep the the glass top down when you're traveling that, that's important so you have a sparker here you turn it clockwise to spark it right then you have three knobs for three burners and then this one is for the for the oven so let's see if we can get this going here there you go very simple. For the oven, there's a pilot light all the way down at the back, down there. Maybe I can spark it so you can see it. Looks like it. So basically you're gonna to go to the oven knob, you go to the picture of the pilot light, you depress it, keep it depressed during the whole lighting procedure, then you're gonna spark it until you see the flame down here light. After it lights, you still hold it for another you know, 10 or 15 seconds to heat up the thermocouple, then you'll go to operating temperature and it cycles as an oven does, but when you shut it off, the flame goes out, and so does the pilot light. So you have to relight the pilot light each time you use the, uh, the oven. Okay, the refrigerator runs on 12 volt DC. Very simple, on and off here. Your temperature here, and then it has different modes for power saving modes, that sort of thing. But it's just a 12 volt DC refrigerator. Okay, this device right here is your carbon, or is your, uh, excuse me, is your power converter. So basically, it's um, these are uh, circuit breakers like you'd have at home, 110 AC, and then they're all labeled, of course. Then the power is converted to 12 volt DC on this side, and you got 12 volt fuses, and they're all labeled. Okay. Also, when you uh, when you're plugged in to shore power, this will send so much energy your battery needs, the battery up front, and it'll always keep it charged up. So it's also a battery charger. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so let me look around here. Move towards the back. Right here, this is telling us that this is pre-wired for this uh, Wi-Fi booster. It's actually, they call it a gateway, it's, it's like a router and, and a booster all in one. So there, if you're interested, you can scan that, that doohickey right there and you can look at the information. And it's, it just gives you good public Wi-Fi. You can also have cellular through it if you want. So if you're interested, you can look at that. Okay. Sink and shower work like any other sink and shower. You have a fan up there, of course. The toilet is typical RV toilet. You have a flush pedal right here, right? Um, it's winterized, so there's antifreeze everywhere. But um, when you you can't use it dry. By dry, I'm talking about the black tank, which is directly below the toilet. So when you get to the campground, you hook up your power and your water. Then you come in here and you put one dose of chemical in the bowl. You'll step on the flush pedal and hold it down to at least a gallon of water along with the chemical go into the black tank below then you're all set to use it um, you can't use it dry because if you do the smell will be terrible and it can get clogged up so you always want water and chemical in there sink works like any other sink this plug is a GFCI keep in mind that all the plugs on this trailer even the one on the outside are wired through a GFCI so you, you reset them inside there okay um, master bedroom with uh, your bedspread and there's also you can lift your bed up and there, or your mattress up there's storage underneath of course um, you have TV hookups here and a mounted backer plate so you can put a swing out bracket there so you can watch TV from bed um, this is your emergency window they all work pretty much the same you just push it through and you'll push it all the way through in an emergency then you'll pull this tab out and you can escape through that window in an emergency. Um, your closet is also pre-plumbed and wired for a washer-dryer combo. 
So that's what you see there. You can use it as a regular closet or you can put a, a washer dryer combo. You can use a stackable or the two-in-one model, whichever one you would prefer. But you can remove the shelf in the bar and put a stackable in there, no problem. Okay. All righty. This is sticker. I, I, I'm sure it's telling us that this is a uh, this is pre-wired for a second air conditioner. That's why it's a 50 amp system, and the air conditioner would go right in here. You would take the vent out, and it fits in there. And um, so, if you're ever interested in getting a second air conditioner, um, this is where it would go. Okay. All righty. I think I pretty much covered it here. Okay. So, thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Um, please uh, uh, remember what I said about inspecting your roof on a regular basis. The manufacturer says every, every 60 to 90 days, I think. Um, the more the better. And um, right now this is uh, trailers winterized, so all the water has been purged from the system and it's been replaced with antifreeze. The water heater is bypassed and empty right now, so you're all set for the winter. Okay, thank you.